All right, welcome back to the episode of Beer, Bacon, and Bros. Tonight you got a special cast, just Keith and Chris. Uh, we're going to jump into this Live and PGA Tour merger. You knew we were going to have to talk about it as soon as it drops. Oh, yeah. So uh, before we jump into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button for us. If you're already a follower, we appreciate you for coming back and watching our video with us. We really do. If you're not, it's completely free to you. Hit the subscribe button. Helps us. Doesn't cost you anything. So Helps grow the family. Um, helps grow the family. And welcome oh, yeah. back to another video. If you want to make sure you're catching our videos, make sure you turn the little alert button on. So uh, make sure you like the video for us as well so that it helps become more popular. And as always, you can hit me in the comments. You know we're going to get back with you no matter what it is. So uh, live PGA Tour, the merger that was never going to happen never for the happen. PGA Tour, never going to happen, has happened. So it's not actually a merger between Liv, it's actually a merger between the FIN uh, Saudi group that has backed Liv. They have now merged with the PGA Tour to become the majority investor. Uh, their head, I have- So it says, screw y'all, we're gonna go buy you? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So, so Jay, Jay Monahan actually just said, hey, you can actually buy me. Um, here you go, but- So just show you money, money talks, baby. Yeah, and, and, and there's some upset players about this and I can't blame them. So, no, I get it because I mean they chose to stay with the PGA for a reason. Yeah, they didn't want to go take the dirty money from from the Saudis. They didn't want to, and they didn't want to stay in or be part of what the Saudi culture stands for with certain things. Yeah. So I mean I I can get where people were upset, but I can also get where the it's it's a plus for the PGA in a sense of they have more money now. Yeah. And they get some of those players back that couldn't play in certain events that can come now come back and play in those events. That are you know pretty popular people. Yeah, I, I think the the interesting part about this that Roy McIlroy talked about this morning is he doesn't look at it and say, okay, Live won, because the full belief is that Live is completely gone now. The name, the brand, yeah. all of it, it's gone, and these players <coughs> are, going to, are going to come back to the PGA Tour and the DP Tour, and we're going to see where we're going to have. Larger purses, more investment, more interest in the golf world. Because I think what ended up happening is the PGA and Liv realized there's not a big enough audience to have two golf tours no. and, and both of them be successful. And right. so right. Um, this is my first time this year really following golf to an extent just because of the show plus the fantasy league that I'm in. Right. Um, outside of that, I mean, I talked about majors. I watched the majors, but I right. wasn't watching, you know, the you've RBC watched certain Canada things. Open. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You've, yeah. Wa you've watched and looked at certain things. Yeah. Right? I've, I watched the Charles Schwab Challenge this year, and I couldn't believe I was doing that. But, um, but it, it's 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 unique in the sense of what's going to happen. There's so much still unknown about this. But there's there's so many rumblings of things like now they're talking about this is going to be more of like a European soccer style where. Players can be promoted and relegated between different levels of a tour. Oh, okay. So and you can so, have like you have like a top tier, and like a, a mid tier, and a bottom tier type yeah, of thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you okay. can have uh, you know major events where you will see some of these team pairings, like the Live have been. Where, right, where they have the teams and all that. Yeah, you know, they have the team play. Yeah. So you know you obviously have the which I mean could be good in a sense of like it's kind of like what NASCAR was doing when they tried to do like the. Um, uh, the uh, the segments like they race like three sixty mile sixty lap segments instead of racing one full yeah one full race down yeah. they're trying to make it more appealing to a younger crowd to draw more people in to be yeah. able to get that TV revenue and get the people to come to these events and everything so I, I can see where it's beneficial on certain things but I can still see where people are still just upset about the whole situation yeah so. and so I I'm just I think the big thing for me that I want to see get answered. What do you do for the people that stayed on the PGA Tour, right? Right, the ones that didn't jump ship for the money. That stayed loyal, right? Like, there's right. got to be some type of repercussions for those that are going to come back. Like, are they going to pay back their full contract? Are they going to pay a certain penalty? Are they going to lose a certain percent of their contract? Like, you can't, you're going to create an entire civil war in this organization if right. you just let all of those people that went to live make all that money and then come back on the tour like it's nothing, right? So there's got to be something that you're doing for those that stayed on, stayed with the PGA. No, I, yeah, you're right. I mean, there's got to be some sort of logistics behind that, and that's obviously that'll probably come out in the next couple of weeks when they get, when they finalize the deal and get everything, you know, in place and what they want to do, where they want to be with everything. So, um, yeah. I, yeah. But, I, I'm, I'm interested to see. I, I know for a fact they've already said that 
the head head of the FIN group is now going to become the president of the PGA Tour. He's going to be on a board of members, which the PGA Tour has always had. But so he's not going to have full say, but obviously he has majority shares and has a certain amount of money that he yeah, can so throw he's, around. He's, but yeah, he, he can do he can call the shots. I mean, obviously there's people that are going to be able to put their two cents in, but at the end of the day, he's going to be the one calling the shot. Yeah, and then Commissioner Jay Monahan will become the CEO of the PGA Tour. So. Uh, I'm interested in what happens to Greg Norman, right? He was the he was the president of Live, like he was running the Live operations. Does, right. does he get any part of this? Obviously, Greg Norman, a huge name in the name of golf. Um, yeah, I mean, not so much as a player anymore, but yeah, just a, still a huge a brand as well. Right, I mean, it's yeah, a brand. So just just interesting to see how that is. And then some of the other things that they've talked about, some major huge purses for in some of these big international events where you have to qualify to get in, you have to be right. a, a certain world golf ranking, which Apparently, we'll be coming back for these live players. They've been struggling and falling down the World Golf ranking since li- jumping off the PGA Tour to live. Now, apparently, we'll be they can be they can get their stock back. Yeah, they can yeah. get their numbers back for the World Golf ranking. So you'll see some names really pop up as they play. I mean, just would be really cool. I think it's I think it's going to be great to have all of these huge names and these huge golfers back together. Right. Um, it's, it's definitely going to make some of these events much more appealing to see some of these top tier people. Battling it out against each other. Yeah, because whether if you're a P, I, I, listen, I was loyal to the PGA, and I get where people are coming from, and it's historic, and and you don't want to lose the tenure and the history and the tradition and stuff. Mm-hmm. But the truth of the matter is, having not having Cameron Smith, Dustin Johnson, Brooks Koepka, Bryson DeChambeau hurt a lot on this tour. Hurt a lot. Yeah, and so um, you can afford to lose a Phil Mickelson and, a, and an Ian Poulter, and you know some of those Who players. Cares? Ernie, Ernie Els stayed on, on the PGA. I know, but I'm just saying, just some of those lower, those lower tier people. Those old that, ass people. Yeah, the, low, the lower tier people that, you know, they've qualified for these events just because of what they've done in the past. Sure, they can go out there and maybe win, maybe win here and there, but they're not, they're not going to be out competing every week. Yeah, yeah, so. They're, just, they're, 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 they're there to collect their check and move on. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be great for the game of golf to have. Oh, absolutely, that, absolutely. But, but just, it, it, like I said, it brings in more money to the PGA to allow them to do some bigger things, too. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, if you're bad, if you're being backed by that much money, I mean, obviously they're wanting to put some of that money back into the brand and make something out of it. So yeah, I mean, at least at least that's what I would you would think that's part of what part of what the what this is is to make it bigger and more attractive and more attractive to to more to a bigger broader audience. Yeah, certainly, certainly. So. so. All right, well, hit us in the comments. Let us know your thoughts about the uh, Live and PGA Tour merger. And as always, we appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe.